So we're going to do a quick jump spots and uh, line of sights guide today. This is one of the most popular maps in the game. Uh, I wanted to go over these because there's quite a few, a lot of new players, and I'm sure some people will be reminded of some spots you could get into, and like that you still can. So uh, just before I get into this, does anyone remember T Martin used to do videos, like jumps and spots videos? He had like a whole series going on. I remembered the intro, and I had to like screen record it and just put it in this video. And if anyone remembers this, let me know in the comments because it is iconic. Honestly, what an intro that was. Uh, if you remember that, let me know, please. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the video now. I go over a few maps here. I'm sure you'll learn something from this video. If you don't, then uh, fair enough. You know a lot. But uh, yeah, enjoy it, guys. Right, so starting off with Favela. Favela's got a few here. There's a lot of buildings, which always makes for easy spots and line of sight. I'm sure that in this video, I have missed some. And if I have, let me know. I'll, I'll do more than one of these because I'm not going to fit every map into one video. I'm going to try and do like five, six maps on this that I think are the, the best ones of the most spots. But we'll come back to some others. So starting off here, uh, it's a lot different from the older COD just because these like, there's a lot of more jumping, mantling movement. So there's a lot of things that you can now, you can pretty much climb walls now. So it makes it a lot easier to do spots like this. Uh, so first one here, I'm not sure whether to like get the tack map up every time. I don't think I need to. Most people should know these maps. If you don't, then, you know, you're learning. So near the sea flag, which is in there normally, you can just jump on this little fence here and you can literally just mantle up here. And it's actually a really easy way to get in this building, to be honest. This building is like a huge part of getting B for B-Dom. And uh, it is a really, really good spot. So the next one's going to be in this area near the B flag. Uh, if you run and jump onto this ledge here, and you kind of go to the side of it and then kind of get on. You can go to the edge of this and you can run and jump and you can get into this window quite easily. It's a really nice way to flank. I know it's a bit open from doing this bit because you've kind of opened all this, but it's a nice way to go. Uh, the next one's going to be, there's a lot on this side of the map, I, I have to say. Um, I did look for some on the other side of the map because it felt a bit unfair. But this building here, there's a ladder just to get up to the roof. Now, that ladder is the worst thing in the world. Never use that ladder. It's literally pointless. If you walk out this window, you can literally just climb on this ledge here and climb on the roof. And uh, it is, yeah, there's no reason to use that ladder at all. And obviously, you can get in the building very easily just by doing this. So, you do that. You run over here, through the window, up onto here, and up onto the roof. And then you can literally just surprise anyone that comes here. Because this is a really good spot, to be honest. You can kind of play here and here. Uh, the next one's going to be, this actually was made a bit harder from the beta. It was actually, yeah, there was a bit more, there was more ledges in the beta, but you can still do it. So you aim for these things and uh, you can just run and jump. So you just run and jump onto this, get onto it, do that, do that, and you're up. It's really, really easy. And that is actually a great spot. I, I don't think that was ever in the old card. If it was, then I was missing out for years <laughs> because uh, that is a great, great spot. So next one's going to be towards the back of the map. I'll put the tack map up here. This is near the, uh, the A flag, which is normally there. And uh, so you, you use these windows here. Let's get a window teddy bear. Yeah, use these windows and you can pretty much get to here. It's nothing major and it's pretty obvious, but a lot of people probably wouldn't just think of doing it. And this building is like a real key part. And if you get a lot of people rushing search like through this way and you're already here, like uh, you, you're going to surprise them. It's, it's more about just surprising people. And uh, also if it's ever needed, you can, uh, you can jump back there. But uh, obviously I didn't do it very well there. Just like that. So I just got to quickly talk about this. There's actually a slide here, and uh, you can't slide down it. I've, I've been through this many times. Uh, you can stand on top, and you, you can't really slide. You haven't got enough momentum to slide, and it's kind of... I can't believe that they didn't add that to the game. I should be able to slide down that. Ugh. Missed opportunity. Uh, right, anyway, the next one. So uh, this is another building. This kind of one of them things that a lot of people use. It's a lot of really good space, uh, place to be for search for anything, really. So you can obviously climb here and all this. Um, this is an obvious way to go. You can climb up to there. But you can just use this little fridge here. And literally just climb up on the side and uh, and just, yeah, you're good. And it's actually a really good head glitch here. A lot of people probably don't even know that. But yeah, there's a nice head glitch here. And uh, this barrel here actually makes for a nice cover. If someone does come this way and you hear them, you can kind of peek this. It's not great for the roof, but for this area, if you want to, for someone in mid there, it's a really, really good place. You can also just jump over here and uh, if you want to go in the back and there's someone camping in here. Yeah, good way to go. And a final one for Favela, if you just come over to this area of the map where we were just now, the fridge, if you, uh, instead of just going around this little bit and there's always someone waiting for you in one of these areas, you can just uh, climb over this and go over here. It's always been a thing, but some people might not know it, uh, you can do it without actually going on top of there at all. But yeah, it's a nice little place. So now we're on to the next map, which is going to be High Rise. High Rise is an absolute classic for jumps and spots. It literally, 
it is the jumps and spots map. It, um, it has a good few spots. They have a lot of incorporated things uh, like these here. And we'll go over all of them here because I'm sure some people don't know everything about them. But first of all, starting in here, you can actually climb this ladder and uh, just jump onto this little roof here. This is a nice little spot for uh, stuff like search and stuff. If you're waiting here for someone, you're last alive. It's a good place to be. Uh, so I wasn't really going to explain about all the uh, these hanging things because you can literally just walk on all of them. Uh, it's not much to explain. It's not the best place to be because you're in the middle of the map and uh, you'll probably die. But yeah, you, you can walk on these and it's the same here. You can. It's a good jump. To, I'll show you a little jump spot here. If you run along here and you just walk up onto this, you can just jump up on here and then uh, just jump onto here rather than having to climb the ladder. It's a bit quicker. Uh, if you go over onto the actual crane or the, the trick shot crane as I like to call it uh, and you go all the way to this end there's a couple of things you can do here so first of all you can just jump down here and you can jump into there and flank their spawn I don't really want to do it now because I'm going to have to do the whole thing again but it's really easy you just drop down there really really simple or you can just run along here and uh, just keep running along and then you can go into this little kind of I don't know little balcony and you get a nice little view over the map it isn't the best uh, without is the cover wise, but if you uh, chuck down. Wait, what? There you go. You chuck down a deployable cover, uh, and you have decent cover. And I will go over deployable covers quite a bit in this game because I've been using them a lot. Um, I've played this game quite a bit already, and they are honestly really, really good for a couple reasons. I'll show you another reason in a minute, but a, do a, do a deployable cover can be very, very handy for you. So the next one's going to be quite obvious, but you literally just climb these two boxes and you can just jump onto here. And from there, you can just jump onto the helicopter pad. Really, really easy, but, you know, someone might have overlooked it. Uh, I will admit, this next one, I actually seen this in someone else, someone's video. I did not know about this. I don't know if this is even in the old COD, but it's quite a very rare thing you'll need to use. But if you walk up to these, you can kind of sit on a ledge here. And if you go sideways to it, you kind of stand on it like that. If you crouch, you get a nice head glitch. Uh, the head glitch here is it's nice because this is literally a spawn here. Um, and it's, it's a popular place to be. This is a popular fighting spot. And if you uh, you can actually peek over there as well. But yeah, if you crouch and use this, it is a really, really nice spot. So once again, I'm sure most people already know about this. But you can literally flank this side of the map uh, just using these drop down bits and these ledges. So you just drop down. Or you can drop down anywhere pretty much. I'll just drop down here. And you can just run along. Make sure you're a bit careful in the corners. And these vents here do push you out a bit which is really annoying but you can flank there and you can just climb back up here it's a nice way to get around the back of people but yeah you kind of come up in the middle of nowhere so it's a bit of risky uh the next one's going to be is this is a ladder here and you walk on the ladder all the way across here this is actually the longest way to do it now this used to be the only way to do it you just kind of make this jump and then you climb the ladder it's not hard to make the jump uh, and then you just run all the way along here and you can eventually just get to the roof. But you don't really want to ever do that now. Because there's two more ways you can do that. And I'll show you them there. So the first one. I think this one's the easiest. I think this is the most consistent. Easiest one. If you jump on top of this weird little vent. Uh, and you just go back a little bit. And then you hit the, the jump to there. You can actually just climb on halfway through. Uh, you're in the middle of nowhere. But once again you're in the middle of nowhere there. And you've got to make this run anyway. So it's got to be a bit risky. So you can just make it that way and easily get up to the roof here. And uh, there is, this one's probably the shortest, but it's also the hardest. And um, I've not actually hit this on like my first try yet. So uh, yeah, let's give this a go. So you basically just try and jump on the end of this and you try and land about there. And you can climb onto, a straight climb onto there. Uh, we'll give it a go here. And yes, right. I won't even lie, that took me 30, 40 tries. Don't, you can do it, you can jump from there to there. And you heard the happiness in my voice when I actually just done that, because that took so long. Don't do it, don't do that way. You can do it, but don't. And uh, yeah, you can get to the top of there. So there's three ways you can get out. You can use that, you can use that crappy way, or you can just use the classic way there. Uh, I think this way is the easiest by quite a long way. You literally just jump there to there, as earlier. So if you come to the corner of this map, I literally just found this while I was making the video kind of thing. But there's this gap in the uh, in this here. First of all, and you can also jump on these ledges if you ever need that. It's a bit of a weird one. But you can go behind this. And first of all, deployable cover is, is very useful for this. But you can just do, if you have a sniper, you can jump shot or at least look for where people are. But if you have deployable cover, you can uh, you can sit on it and crouch. And you actually get a decent heady. Obviously, you can shoot through this bit of wood very, very easily. But uh, yeah, it's still a very nice spot. And I, I literally just had a look at it then and thought, if you put it back here and crouch, you might be, you might have a slightly better 
bit bit more like cover, less body showing. But overall, it's not, I didn't even know this was a spot till now. So yeah, really nice one, especially if you're sniping uh, for search and destroy at the start of games. Deployable cover is really really good. I love it. And uh, just before I finish on high rise. I will quickly show you another one that I've, I found already. I'm sure there'll be loads of these, but this is just another one that I found. If you um, if you ever in cover here, obviously most people are just gonna like peek around and there's a sniper waiting for you here, waiting to shoot you. If you have any kind of like AR or something, you can literally just sit on top of this, and it's actually a really really nice head glitch. Uh, these things are obviously there's another one over there, so you can use it both sides. And just having deployable cover really gives you some very strange and very, very useful lines of sight. I've used this loads already, and uh, there's a lot on different maps I'm sure I'll figure out, because I literally use deployable cover most of the time at the moment. Yeah, I think it's a, a really good field upgrade. So next we're going to move on to terminal. There's a few on this one. It's not there's not loads of jumps. It's more like lines of sights. I'll be I'll be honest. But there's a few spots that a lot of people uh, probably don't even know about. So if you hop onto this corner of the map and go kind of where the plane is, you can just hop onto this window ledge and then climb into this. And first of all, it's like a bit of a it's quite a good line of sight to there. But this is actually a really good hiding spot more than anything else. I think. I think like you could and also you could like sit here. Uh, this is probably a better spot just for using as a head glitch because you got a bit more cover with this. But it's quite a nice spot, and I think if you were led here, like with a ghillie suit on, I don't think anyone would see you. I'd like to see a third person view of this. But yeah, good spot that. Right, so if you come to this elevator, you can actually use this uh, this wall here quite well. But you can get out to it this way and like use this to climb on there, but I prefer just using this sofa, it seems a bit easier to me. So if you just run and jump and uh, hit this wall, you can literally just climb up there. First of all, this isn't too bad as a line of sight, you can see a few things, but the, the golden bit is right here. You get you get into this little plant and look at this. That there is a beautiful line of sight for this, especially the start of a search game or start of any game to be honest. Also, C Dom is literally here when you play uh, D Domination, and then um, this is a very high traffic area. Also, all of this as well. So this place is very very nice. And also, I did see also in the video you can hop to. Okay, you can hop on top of that plant. Not that it's very useful, but you can do that as well. Uh, another one I did see is that, so you didn't use to just hop up here onto the bin and then hop onto this roof. Obviously, it's come, they've come a long way with the, the movement. But a nice way to, if, if you know someone's up here and you want to clear it before, you can kind of hop onto this little bit and if you just hop onto here and crouch, you have a really nice head glitch. So it's more of a how to get up, it's not how to get up there, but how to kill someone up here. But this is a really, really nice spot just to use. And once again, plant pots coming in clutch. So the next one's going to be in this area, which is like near the, the front of the plane. So if you use this window here, you can uh, just hop to this and get around here. And you can actually use these if you want to, just to stay like off the, off the ground. But I don't think a lot of people actually want to do that. Okay, if you want to do that in reverse as well, you can kind of... There is a way that you can just run and jump here, I think. Yeah, so you can just run and jump there. Or if you want to be... that, If you don't hit that every time, you can just use these, uh, these ledges here and walk along them. And then you just hop onto this. Then you can just uh, go around the corner and just hop into here. I can remember as well, right? Someone that used to play OG uh, Modern Warfare. Was this always here? I'm sure that's a new sign. In my head, this just wasn't ever here. But I don't know. Maybe it was. I just can't remember it. But I think that's a new sign. And uh, one of the final ones I have for this is, this is not really useful, but you can literally just hop up here and uh, hop onto this. If you just run and jump this way and you can sit up here. I'm not sure why. Oh, okay. I'm not sure why you'd want to use that, but you can do it. Uh, another one quickly is this here. All this leafage. Great place to hide. I love showing spots like this. Imagine you, someone walks through there. Maybe to have a laser on when you do this. You'd have a great line of sight on them. You can move quite freely as well, which is quite nice. And uh, I don't think anyone will see you here. Really, really good spot. So now we're over here near the uh, plane again on the floor. There's a couple of things here. So first of all, you can uh, you can't just run and climb this. If you climb onto this these railings, you can uh, you can get onto this roof. For some reason you can't just run and jump and stuff. So you have to actually get and you can't do it from here. I don't think either. So a bit weirdly, you can't do it from this box. But if you get onto this slightly taller railing, you're all good and you can just climb easily. So it's a nice way to get up. And uh, this is another really good spot that I've uh, recently found. If you hop onto this little railing here, and you just uh, run and jump onto it, not like that. I think actually no, it's way probably easier go onto this really then oh okay yeah okay so you just run and jump why do I keep falling through things what's going on you just run and jump onto here you can uh, have a nice spot through here uh, it's, once again a lot of these things are really good for the start around the search and destroy that is a beautiful line of sight straight through to there 
because that is a high traffic area. And you can also kind of stay in cover here and wait for people to walk through. You could really surprise someone uh, if you just sat here for like the first minute of a game. You get people running through here 100% and it is a really, really nice spot. So last one for Terminal, but this is a little bit of a bonus. I'm not on the Search and Destroy right now, but right, the Search and Destroy bomb is normally right here. And if you come to this place here, you can plant it here uh, through the wall, and it's a nice place to keep the bomb, because you can kind of just stay at the back of the plane like this, and it's a bit easier to cover if you can see it. So just a little bonus tip for uh, if you want to plant the bomb on Search, you can literally just use this wall here rather than put it on the actual bomb, which is here. So moving on to Skid Row now, this map is so grey. Look at that. Anyway. Oh, yeah, you're getting aided. Right, so the first one actually spawned right by it. And uh, a lot of people, I don't know, I haven't even explored back here much, but okay. If you run onto this box and then just jump to here, you can just walk along here and you can sit in this balcony. There's a lot of surprise balconies on this map that you don't normally think you can get to. You, can, you can't go to that. That's a big X there. That's, that means you can't get to it. But yeah, you can make it to that one. There's a barrier there. Uh, next one is quite handy is obviously you can just climb this and get over that window. This is obviously a really high traffic area. And uh, you can also just jump onto this and uh, hit the little jump and you can climb there. Now you've got to make sure you land on this like pallet looking thing uh, just to boost you up a little bit more. Uh, what we got next? You can get to that balcony, unfortunately. It would be nice, but you cannot do that. Uh, you can just climb up this. this is another way to do it as well. It's pretty easy to climb up there. Uh, you can go on this. this is, first of all, this is a really nice place to head glitch uh, for people that are here and in the window. If you walk on top of this little ledge, you get like a little boost and you can see the door as well. Uh, you just got to watch out for this area. If you were to put a deployable cover here, if you can, look at that. That is why deployable cover for me is really, really good. Like that. Look at that. <laughs> I know it's horrible and it, it shouldn't be so good, but it is incredibly good. You can do this in so many places and you get it back so fast. But anyway, we're, we'll go on that's for another video. The next thing is you can actually set up here. A lot of people don't know this, but you can, uh, if you just run and jump into this, you can literally just set up here. I don't know how this is not known. I've not seen anyone in this spot apart from me so far. And uh, obviously for this area being so high traffic, there's also cover. And uh, obviously you can put your deployable cover here if you wanted as well, just saying. And you can also just run and jump on this as well. I'm not sure why you'd ever need to use that, but you can do it. Broken that one. Um, but yeah, <laughs> another deployable cover thing. Uh, I, I really didn't, I didn't know where to put these in because they're a bit, they're very niche. Obviously you need to use deployable cover. I use it a lot, but I know some people don't. Damn, I didn't see that before. Is there a basketball around here? Right, getting distracted. Anyway, you climb this and you can actually use deployable cover to get into this window. Now, for me, this is incredibly good because all you need on your team is one person and a bit of comms and you could just all get to be like through a window. If you, for some reason, you can't just like jump in. Um, they might have done that on purpose, so you can't do this. But if you jump onto, hang on, let me just get up on there and get up on here. If you jump onto this, you can kind of just jump up and it pushes you up a little bit. And if you walk across here and just jump, you can sit on this little ledge, walk in and you are in B. Now for me, that is, it's a really, really good spot. I know deployable cover makes it a bit hard to do uh, in terms of you need to use it, but you can get a lot of places with deployable cover, I'm telling you. So we're on Scrapyard now, and honestly, there's not a lot of jumps and spots on this map, but the big thing this kind of year of the new card is that you can just get on top of the uh, these airplanes, or the airplane, old airplanes, the broken ones. And uh, there's a lot of ways to do this. You can get up on these ones, just like that, like a, a simple mantle. Um, there is a way that you can get on the back of this truck and just jump to here. Uh, you can jump up to there. But the easiest way, honestly, is just to run to this thing here, I think, and just jump on the back. Obviously, you can just run up here and walk on. But it's not <laughs> not very good spots. It's just one of them things that it actually it would probably surprise people. So that pretty much wraps up the jumps and spots video that I decided to do the first one. And uh, let me know if you learned anything from it. It actually turned out to be a lot longer than I thought. I thought, do I just kind of not commentate over stuff and not explain myself? But then I thought, what's the point in me doing commentaries if I'm not going to actually do them? So I'm going to try and do, obviously, I do a lot of stuff like this. I'm going to start doing some gameplays now because I, uh, I wanted to get this across and I thought it would be a good video. Testing the waters to see what does well on with COD YouTube and stuff like that because I've not actually done much of it and we're just getting back into it. But cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to what you feel like doing and peace out for now.